champ. Apparently Tony D'Angelo thinks you cut in line at catering. Frankly, I hope you did. In my day, there were perks to being champion. Ugh, oh, but this new generation of snowflakes thinks they've had their rights infringed upon if they've got to wait two minutes for a turkey burger. I'd love to see you take D'Angelo on and remind him of the hierarchy around here. Make it a chairs match, so he doesn't forget the champ doesn't just eat when he wants, he sits where he wants too. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, Tony D'Angelo. D'Angelo, a former All-American wrestler, now taking over all of WWE. Now, that's pretty impressive given his family's background in waste management. But D'Angelo has already developed quite the family in NXT, amassing success and winning titles. But now the question is, can he keep focused and succeed in all of WWE? Well, he better, because there's always competition to unseat the Don. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. And his opponent from Delhi, India, weighing in at 187 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Sherry Man. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. Hold on to your seats as this one gets underway. We'll see if this match lasts longer than a catering line for the champ. Allegedly. If the allegations are true, the Dark Horse should be ashamed. As WWE Universal Champion, he's supposed to set the example. He is. Why else would you want to be champion if not for the perks? Uh, glory, honor, and the best piece of prime rib. Taking this one back to the ring now. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> Dominating shoulder tackle. Wrench in the arm. Man, what a clothesline. Oh, just gouging the face. That's not right. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Firm control. Oh, kick to the face. What's he open to find down there? And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. Oh, man. He steers clear of contact. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. Good shot, and now Tony is bleeding. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Now Tony is getting beaten down. Tony's on the wrong side of every exchange. What impact! Right in the kisser. Boom! Wedging the chair into the turnbuckles.
with a punch to the gut. <laughs> what impact! Good night. Oh God! Ooh, every successive move is putting the opponent in a dicey situation. Rolling down low, striking the front and back of the leg. And then a stop to the back. He may be in a bad way here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Oh, God, right to the cranium. Oh, my gosh. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. He is delivering elbow after elbow. to the gut, pushing their opponent up, and driving them down for the final prayer. D'Angelo down, and he might be out. Two! And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, the Dark Horse, Sherry May! Hello, champ. I hope you'll forgive an old timer button in your business. But it seems you've got yourself an Irish storm brewing. Seamus has been telling everyone your reign is about finished. Now, my fighting days may be behind me, but there's no way I'd let a comment like that stand. I reckon you show that Irish warrior you're not close to finished in a finisher match. Here comes a man who loves to fight. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, The Celtic Warrior has accomplished just about everything there is to accomplish in WWE. Sheamus is always around for a fight. The success, hey, that's just a byproduct. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. And his opponent from Delhi, India, weighing in at 187 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Sherry Man. With the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove.
The anticipation is palpable as each competitor is already looking for that perfect moment to unleash their devastating finishing moves. If I were in the Dark Horse's shoes, I'd be praying to avoid the bro kick from Sheamus. Well, if the champ is in that ring praying, he's quickly going to be prey and yesterday's news. Supernatural oh. power! That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Big boot! He went right into that turnbuckle. Reversal! Catches Sheamus there. Series of reversals. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh my gosh! Terminating knee smash. And back in the ring we go. Close line! Setting him up for the flatliner. Uh-oh. Buries a knee to the body. Overhand shots and elbows and forearms one after another. Practically never-ending blows coming at fourth. Take off. Whoa! Man, a diving neck breaker. And Sheamus can't seem to get out of harm's way. Look, Sheamus loves a fight, but he can't be liking this. to the throat. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. Ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? What a drop kick right to the back. Arse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Oof. And he's soundly taking control here. Yeah, this match is in his favor now. Don't do it! Oh. Suicide dive! That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. And Sheamus puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Yeah, Sheamus able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Can't quite get him there. Able to avoid any harm there. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. He manages to escape it. Oh. Both wrists captured and powerful. And Sheamus on the receiving end of the beating there. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Uh-oh, full mount, hammer fists, striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. Striking at will. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Oh, a flurry of strikes. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Oh, look out. It's on now. Ooh. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Slugging away with everything they've got. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Counter from the Celtic Warrior. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh. And listen to this crowd, driving these competitors to leave everything out in the ring. Oh! Oh my! That'll rock you. The Irish brawler's got him where he wants him. What no! I think that shows Sheamus' temper has reached its boiling point. Toss back into the ring. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. I guarantee that chair is not... 
And that will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's called. Here is your winner, the Dark Horse, Sherry Well, 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 all hail the conquering hero. <sighs> Troy, what's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer, probably the fact that your stock is on the rise too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss Miz has been taking notice. Okay, so what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universal Champion. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. Troy, I will head to the ring. And I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him, and his big plan for sweeps. Great! Sounds like rating. According to backstage sources, The Miz has something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. That Miz is willing to let bygones be bygones after all this guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement, it's generally bad news for me. So, Miz, I'm not going to sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now. Got to admire the champion trying to do things on his own terms. Come on, Miz. What do you got? If Miz was expecting to intimidate him, doesn't seem to be working. Hellfire and brimstone. It's Kane. Talk about a big surprise. It's the Big Red Machine! But where is he? Kane is in the ring! With a huge right hand! Kane's got him by the throat! Oh no! Say goodnight, champ! Low blow from the champion! Where the heck is he going? When you're on the defensive against Kane, anything goes! With his frightening monster Kane, it's all about annihilation and suffering. He wants people to feel the pain he has felt. Kane doesn't care who he hurts. He wants to send a message to all of sports entertainment that his path of destruction knows no bounds. That's right, Byron. And anyone who gets in Kane's way can expect to suffer a destruction they may not be able to come back from. But come on, non-title match or not, they are dealing with a certified champion in this one who isn't going to treat this like an exhibition.
Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Spotted Buster! He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Down to Otis and a double axe handle smash. This match grinded him down a little. Military press. Ooh. What offense from the big red monster. Kane cannot be stopped right now. Oh, and a chair shot delivered. He gets out of the way. DDT. Kane prevents the attack from connecting. And that was an effective attack, guys. Knee right to the gut. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. And he's able to fight Kane off. Strikes with the feet. And then a double stomp to the lower back. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Held in a perilous position. A power bomb is not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Oh, my! Escapes in a nick of time. He climbs into the ring. Ooh, a direct headshot. Just sickening. He's struggling a bit here. You dare to mess with Kane, and you will get burned. Great wherewithal on the counter. Sequence of reversals there. These two having an answer for everything. Returning to the ring now. Oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. Knee right to the gut. Outside. This could be good. Holy meet the barricade. Good luck catching your breath after that. The Devil's Favorite Demon with the Devil's Favorite Sidewalk Slam. The Devil's Favorite Demon walking among us and doing his work. This is a horror movie that's spilled over into real life. Elbow throw saying not today. Close line. So effective. Even Kane can't shrug off that hard-hitting offense. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Spear! 
Will Kane get back up? With the Irish whip, Kane reverses and oh my goodness, did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up the coal, Saxton. This has to stop. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Not the choke slam on the steel steps. Straight to hell, champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris has consequences. Speaking of consequences, you have to wonder if the Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed. I don't think he does. The Big Red Machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle up. This is going to be one hell of a ride. Uh, hey Dom, what's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it, because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. I, uh, sure thing man, water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. I am definitely open to some advice. Especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you gotta make a choice then. Get help from Kane's old flame or fight fire with real fire, me. I appreciate you, Dom, but Kane and Lita have history. I'm gonna see what she has in mind. Suit yourself, but just remember, when Kane beats you down and takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane, but why are we going to Mexico? What does this have to do with anything? Listen, I got my start in Mexico, and I ended up wrestling in some pretty out-of-the-way places. Dark, dangerous places. Okay. So long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of Lacondon. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Are you messing with me? Not at all. I made some calls that I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. That sounds like a pretty big if. Great risks, greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid.
The red flame was everything you said, Lita. My whole body is basically a bruise. La Yalmaroja is a legend, a monster. And as rough as you're feeling right now... <sighs> yeah? It's gonna be worse with Kane, especially now that it's a casket match. Can't wait. If you beat Kane at his own game, it'll go a long way to earn the respect of the WWE Universe. And now you know the kind of effort it's gonna take to do it. It'll take everything I got. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, maybe you use a little something extra. Such as? Check your bag when you get to SmackDown. When you use them, tell Kane his ex says hello. The following contest is a casket match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. It is the bone chilling entrance of the Devil's favorite Hall of Famer. The Big Red Monster, perhaps the most sadistic superstar to ever step foot in WWE. Driven by twisted, demonic impulses every step of the way. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. Well, the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, let the match begin. Introducing the challenger from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! And his opponent from Delhi, India, weighing in at 187 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal! Champion, the Dark Horse, Sherry Man! Feel the atmosphere. Everyone's on pins and needles. The WWE Universe knows just how much this title means. No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? 
<laughs> That's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? He catches Kane with a counter. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Capped off with a big one. The champion just teed off. Our challenger found no way to break free there. Down on the windpipe. Ooh, sharp kick. He's returning fire. Down with the leg drop. into the corner. Countered it just in time. Whoa! I feel. Springboard! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Setting him up for the flat line. Man, face first. I don't know what they're looking for here. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Kendo stick impact. Expected that one. Uh-oh, clearing off the announce table. All right, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Ooh. Ooh. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Setting him up for the flatliner. Kane turns it around. Oh, man, meeting the bear. Kane. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. I shudder to think what went through his mind when he picked up the shovel. Close line. Kane with some good timing here. Ugly situation here. And slamming the casket lid onto their spine. Both wrists captured. And oh! The challenger not looking good right now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, oh man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Oh, wow. And that just opened up Kane. An endless bombardment from the champion. The challenger has to be rocked. Oh, man. Chucking the steps right into them. Steps to the kidneys. The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. The Big Red Monster showing weakness here. Going down low, striking the front and back of the leg, and then a double stomp to the lower back. Kick to the gut. Pushing their opponent up. And throwing them down for the final prayer. A golden opportunity here to seal them in that casket. My God, what a striking display.
Kane channeling his energy. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Flatliner. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Ah, striking with an A. Grabbing something out of their trunk. Turn their lights out for good. Their opponent ducks out of the way. Ah, oh, face first off the post. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. He's heading back to the ring. And this one might be headed ringside. Guys, they're getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. The Devil's Favorite Demon with the Devil's Favorite Sidewalk Slam. That's Kane reminding everyone that no one's safe when they're up against the Devil's Favorite Demon. And he clearly enjoyed it. Just a sadistic individual. Setting him up for the flatliner. Firm control. Nasty kick to the face. More attacks to the neck area. Not a pretty sight to. Here it comes. Looking for. Joke slam. Thunderous. The mark of the champion. Knowing when to use the challenger's playbook. Stalking him, watching blast off, and nobody's there. Strikes with the feet, and then a double stomp to the lower back. Kane is losing grip on this match right now. Yeah, it really looks like Kane's struggling right now. Crucial turnaround there because Kane was falling behind. Yeah, Kane getting some newly determined focus. Trying to force the casket close to end this thing. There's no way they're going to prevent Dooms. They may they survive. I can't believe they actually made it out of the casket. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh, Flat one. Man, face first. And now he's really falling behind. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back is being negated. And gets back with a hip toss. Yeah, he's able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? Face buster! Man, that was vicious. Check out this display of power. Lifted all the way up and driven oh. down in the final prayer. But champions need to finish the job. Oh, coming down hard with that shovel. Nothing but mal intent behind each of these attacks. And things are just going from bad to worse. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh! Just punched him right in the middle. Oh, that's enough already. And he's able to fight Kane off. Smash. Wait, 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 wait. Get him. Oh my God. Never saw it coming. Tossing them into the casket. Close the lid, close. 
Oh, we've got a struggle on our hands to close the casket. They may survive. They're fighting back. Not ready to put the lid on this one yet. Apparently closing that casket is easier said than done. He returns to the ring. Setting him up for the flatliner. The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Tossed into the casket. It's about to get very dark in there. Can they close the casket? But the, the opponent is trying to fight back. It's a battle of wills here. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion laid Kane to rest once and for all. I can't believe he defeated the Big Red Machine at his own game. What an incredible victory here tonight. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Whoa, wait. What's going on? It's Roman Reigns. Bravo. Congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chip. Was that really necessary from Roman Reigns? I detected no lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion feel like a loss. What's next, boss? You got Isaac Yankum in your contacts? Oh, yes. What a huge and impressive victory. Clearly, Roman Reigns was in awe of your incredible performance. Easy to talk smack from the sidelines, isn't it? The ego on you. You've been in the show for a hot minute, got a few lucky breaks, and all of a sudden, you think you're a legend? It's not about what I think. It's about what I am. And that's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, whether you like it or not. But next week, the week after, the next PLE, Roman said it himself. You're just champion. For now. I don't care what Roman or anyone else says. You just keep setting them up, I'll keep knocking them down. And after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown.
General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the workhorse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Just look at this specimen, carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. The Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania, where he became WWE Champion. Supreme confidence on the face of the Scottish Warrior. A man who is ready for battle. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? Introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Delhi, India, weighing in at 187 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Sherry Man! The championship of all championships and the biggest prize in WWE. As the champ reaches 365 days with his title, can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Well, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. Up shoulders down, championship on the line. And the kick out. Premature to try to end things now. 
Here comes Michael. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh, man. If this lands, it might be all over. Samoan Driver. Hit the ropes. Oh, what a knee strike. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. Let's him up a spine buster. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Look at all these boots to the face. Here comes a big one. See ya. Climbing the turnbuckle now. On great balance. Oh, misses the mark. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Oh, what a shot in the ear. Samoan drop, Byron. Hawaiian drop. Just shouldered a tremendous amount of weight there. Strikes with the feet. And then a stop to the back. Stopping their opponent. Followed by a forearm smash. And where does he think he's going? Look, he's just taking the perfect opportunity to regain... Uh-oh. Suicide dive! Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Go behind. German nine! That was a massive suplex. There's core strength, and then there's what we just saw. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponents to gain this much confidence. Oh, taking a nasty hit from a flying chair. The amount of blood is getting bad, guys. McIntyre needs to think about his career. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. The challenger is not in a great place. And with the Falls Count Anywhere stipulation, you have to be extra careful as you get now a pen for the championship. And he fights it off. What a match. Counter! And now there's an opening. Look at this. Just launched his opponent overhead, belly to belly. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Uh-oh. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the... Oh, 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 oh. The Kimura! Oh, Kimura lock. Submission move. Will they tap? Uh, he doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. My God, what a striking display. The sleeper is sick and trouble here. And oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Popped right in the face. Ouch. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? McIntyre not holding back with that destructive move. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. New champion, new champion. He's able to beat a two count. Wow. The intensity. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Oh, delivers the insecurity for a counter. Run the crew with the spear. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Looking for the victory. Two count. Got the shoulder up. The champion's shock is palpable. 
unstoppable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. From the middle rope. Nobody hold on that. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Oh! Suicide dive! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Here we go! Cross body! Whoa! Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. Check out this display of power. Lifted all the way up and driven down in the final prayer. I think the champ's got it. Is it enough? The cover! Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed. If you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we gonna keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, and what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours, too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or... I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. The only stick you've got is the one we allow you to wield. So I'm gonna break it and go to NXT. Do this and you will be in breach of contract. The consequences will be enormous. Oh, I bet they will. If I'm Triple H, I'd look at the GM of SmackDown alienating the WWE Universal Champ so bad that he goes AWOL to another brand as a real negative in his next performance review. I wonder if Adam Pearce is available. You're going to regret this. You first.
The rumors on social media were true. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion here on NXT. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the WWE Universe. SmackDown GM The Miz must be having a panic attack. I'd be too if my champion fled to another brand. We'll have to see if this is a one-time appearance or a more permanent move. Hey there, champ. Wasn't expecting to see you here tonight. I guess you don't read social media much. Eh, I try not to. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Justine. I was a big fan of your work back in the day, and that comeback run with your niece was certainly memorable. Thanks. That was the point. Anyway, not sure if you've heard, but I've transitioned into a behind-the-scenes producer role here in NXT. So I can tell you that your request to have a match here tonight has been officially approved. Yeah, I actually already saw Shawn Michaels posted that. Maybe I do need to start paying more attention to social media. Nonetheless, we're excited to have you here at NXT for tonight. And maybe more long term? What exactly is your plan? You sound like everyone else on the internet. But sorry, can't give you any scoops. I'll tell the world what I plan on doing here after my match. Fine. Good luck out there. And welcome to NXT, for however long that ends up being. Well, look who it is. The high and mighty undisputed WWE Universal Champion himself has graced us with his presence here in NXT. I don't really know you, Grayson, but I assume that was sarcasm. Of course it was. You can walk in here with your fancy title, but I need you to understand that I'm the man around these parts, mate. Are you the man? Because I seem to remember you leaving NXT, not cutting it, then running back here with your tail between your legs. What's it called? The Grayson Waller defect? <laughs> oh, clever. Must have taken you your entire flight to come up with that one. Why are you even here on my show? <sighs> I've been getting that question a lot. But sorry, champ. You're gonna have to wait along with everyone else to find out. After my match. One of the UK's best exports. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar.
And the Universal Champion steps into a new battleground here in NXT. And his opponent from Delhi, India, weighing in at 187 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Sherry Man. I certainly would not have predicted we'd see the champ end up here. Nobody would have, but I guarantee there isn't an NXT fan anywhere who's complaining. Let's see how the Dark Horse's next chapter begins. Here's something you don't see every day. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion is having a match on NXT. But while we're certainly excited, there's one person who isn't. And that's SmackDown GM, The Miz. We don't know the champion's intentions here in NXT, but we do know Miz has already filed a complaint to Triple H and the board of directors regarding the champion's appearance tonight. We'll have to see how that all plays out. Piercing the throat. Impact in the corner. Off the ropes. Oh, running knee strike. Ow! Foot, meat, back. An unrelenting assault being brought to Bate. Bate has to find an opening and respond. DDT! Oh, mounting and now just hammered away with the rights. Elbows right to the forehead, striking at will. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. position to be in right now. Are you kidding me? He just isn't being given any... Oh, slingshot, cross body, what a move. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Great strength being shown here. No, 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 power bomb out of the apron. This match is brutality starting to show on him. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. And now thrown back into the ring. He's one step ahead there. He's open to start a rush of his own with that attack. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Billy Goats curse. It's a way to break the curse. to get the advantage here. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. An unrelenting assault being brought to Bate. Bate has to find an opening and respond. One after another. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Hooked him up. High angle belly of back suplex. Able to get out of the way. Samoan drop, Byron. Oh no, it's the Hawaiian drop. Oh. Oh, right to the throat. He has just completely lost his wind. This has just been an absolute massacre. Time's a charm. You never want to be on the wrong. This could be it. Cover. It's still hanging on. He's determined to keep this. Maybe not. Maybe not. Elevates his shoulder ahead of the count. Wow. Face plant. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. And Bates steers clear there. He saw that one coming. 
Up top. is just pure instinct at this point. Tied up between the ropes. It's about to get worse. Look at these knee strikes. Oh! An unrelenting assault beam. Slingshot cross body unique. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Toss back into the ring. Kick to the gut. Pushing their opponent up. And they're driven down in the final prayer. This spells trouble for Bate. There's two. What a victory here on NXT for the WWE Universal Champion. But we still don't know why he's here in the first place. Patience, Saxton. I think we're about to find out. It feels damn good to be here in NXT to compete in front of all of you and finally get away from the Miz. But let me set the record straight and put all the rumors to rest. Well, this felt good to get my first NXT win. <laughs> it won't be my last. I'm not here just for a one-off appearance. <laughs> no. This, this is bigger than that. Every champion in WWE walks in the shadow of Roman Reigns. Me, more than any other. So I'm here because I want something that sets me apart from the head of the table. Something that Roman never won. And that is the NXT Championship. So, Shawn Michaels, if you're looking for a can't-miss main event, <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Did the WWE Universal Champion just ask for an NXT title match? Not sure how much of an ask that was. He's pretty much forcing Shawn Michaels' hand. Well, I know I'd love to see Grayson Waller go toe-to-toe -to -toe with SmackDown's champion. So would I, but he's going to have to get in line. Waller already has the defense lined up at NXT Battleground. Either way, it's going to be a huge matchup if and when it happens. Well, now we know your plan, and it's really exciting. I mean, other than the several hashtags that are now trending on social media. I thought you said you didn't pay attention to that stuff. I don't, but I am now. And honestly, it's not good. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great that you're here. But you've ruffled a lot of feathers among fans and the NXT superstars who say you've just waltzed in and jumped the line. Their words, 
Shawn Michaels seemed happy with it. It's a huge match for NXT, but Shawn has had to take several calls from The Miz and his Mizzy and Troy about possible legal action. Not to mention this blowing up our plans for NXT Battleground. This is kind of a mess. Sounds like part of the job? And since you're new to the social media game, positive or negative, it doesn't really matter. When anything trends, it's good for business. Okay, but what do I tell the locker room full of angry wrestlers? You can tell them, when I become NXT champion, I'll be happy to give anyone a title opportunity who feels I skipped the line. All right, I'll relay the message. After I delete these 17 voicemails from Troy. Man, that guy's annoying. Persistent, but annoying. The moment has arrived. Grayson Waller is ready to defend his NXT Championship against his toughest challenger yet, the WWE Universal Champion. Wait a minute, from behind, it's Wes Lee! Well, Lee was supposed to be next in line to get a title match at NXT Battleground. And it looks like he wasn't content to just complain about it on social media. I think the title match could be off. Any luck getting that uh, justice for Grayson hashtag trending? You should be more concerned with whatever stupidity Shawn Michaels is engaged in on social media. I mean, by the time he logs off and stops granting wishes, you could be in a battle royal next week. One on one, battle royal, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I'm going to get my title match against you. Fair enough. And just so you know, it wasn't a coincidence running into you here today. I wanted to talk to you about this whole special referee thing. What about it? Honestly, I don't care who wins the bloody match between you and Wesley. But if you're really trying to one-up Roman Reigns, we could help each other out. What are you getting at? Johnny Gargano has been my personal nuisance for years now. So if you go give Gargano a thumping, then maybe I'm not so impartial in your match against Wesley if you get my drift. What do you say? I don't really have a problem with Gargano. But if it gives me an edge against Wes Lee, I'll do it. All right. Wasn't expecting the WWE Universal Champion to get his hands dirty, but here we are. Wes played dirty taking me out before our match. So I figure I can do the same thing. Good for you. As for Johnny Wrestling, he'll be training here at the PC later today, so that's your chance to strike. Understood.
Sean is very upset about your incident with Johnny Gargano. And frankly, so am I. I did what I had to do. Seriously? We rolled out the red carpet and you essentially spit on it. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Wesley jumped me before my last match, and now with Grayson Waller as the special ref, who knows what else Lee would try to pull? It might not have been pretty, but I had to strike first. You of all people should understand that. The wrestler part of me gets it. The management side, not so much. Just be ready to pay the consequences for your actions. The man in stripes who won't be changing his, it's our impartial referee, Grayson Waller. The following contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Grayson Waller. The dark horse might be looking for a little insurance from tonight's special guest referee, Grayson Waller. Might be. He attacked Waller's rival, Johnny Gargano, at the Performance Center. I think it's clear he's trying to get Waller in his pocket. Now this is a must-see kid of WWE. And the participants, first from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley! Many folks thought Wesley didn't have what it takes to become a single superstar. Well, he proved them wrong by winning the NXT North American title and holding it longer than anyone else in history. We've already seen Wes fly, and now we know the sky is the limit. We know from experience that Wesley has no problem taking on all comers. Yeah, Lee will take any chance to show off and show out to soar through the skies. Wesley will take it. And I can't wait to see him compete. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. And his opponent from Delhi, India, weighing in at 187 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Sherry May. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? I appreciate the WWE Universal Champion's ambition here. He wants to prove a point to Roman Reigns by winning a title that Roman never held. However, if he were to fall short, it would be tremendously embarrassing. No doubt, Michael. And with NXT Champion Grayson Waller out here as the special guest referee, this number one contender match becomes much harder to call. Well, maybe springboard! Oh. Ow! A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Three. Whoa, leap 
leaping through the air. Boom. <laughs> Ouch. In the corner. And anyone quickly, the cover. Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. And he's out of there in a nick of time. He returns to the ring. Go behind. Jordan, nine. Oh, oh stop to the tummy. Tummy? And Lee had no reflexes to answer for that. Gargano said he'd be watching this match closely, and he meant it. He probably didn't take too kindly to being jumped by the Universal Champion at the PC. Crucifix. Very nice. Pinning combination. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. And the referee counted that right. I don't think that can be disputed. Got to commend our official. Saw the shoulders down and responded accordingly. Look at this. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Ooh, man! Nasty shot, now the blood is flowing from Wes's face. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, stop, stop, stop! And the forearm smash! Strong Irish whip. Elbow thrown, saying not today. Hoist it all the way up. Oh, brain buster. Gonna turn your cranium inside out with that. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Not to the back of the neck, sends their opponent to the middle of the ring. Whoa! Handstand into a Pele kick. Wes with a big time move. What is the ref doing? This is a pinning predicament. What is this? Can our guest referee see they are nowhere near the ropes? He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Launching. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. He's looking a little weary now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Oh, what's going to happen here? Look out. Exploder suplex. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Smash. Fireman's carry. Up and face first. F5. Great reaction from Wes. He's got the answer for that. Hold on, what's the official doing? And now targeting the official. You never want to assault a referee, but I can't say I'm surprised. Into a ripcord lariat. What a combination. He's positioning himself. Closing in. Spear. West went down in a heap. Looking for the victory. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What kind of count was that? Here is Just your winner. God. Awful officiating. Sherry Man! The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. Hey, they were just trying to keep them on their toes here. And guess what? They did. So it looks like a win-win to me. Yeah, more like a game plan backfiring, Corey. And that is cause for celebration.
I guess they're letting anyone backstage these days. Actually, my pass allows me access to any brand shows. Wow, good for you. Here to watch me win the NXT Championship? No, I'm here to deliver an important message. Miz and his team of high-paid lawyers are putting the finishing touches on a legal motion to strip you of the WWE Universal Championship. Unless you drop this NXT thing and return to SmackDown immediately. If I decide to come back to SmackDown, it'll be you and your annoying boss's lucky day, as I'll be carrying two championships. I doubt that. And no matter what happens tonight, you're going to end up right where you started. Under Mrs. Thumb. You mean, like you? the title holder in search of adding an NXT size notch on his belt. The dark horse looks like a man confident he's going to be walking out of here needing an extra belt hanger for his closet. Everyone walks in that way, whether they end up walking out having won a title or having lost their pants. It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. It's the NXT Champion hoping he can keep the title firmly within his grasp. Talk about pivotal moments in a career. This could be it for Grayson Waller. Knowing Waller and the amount of confidence he has, he'll be ready for this opportunity. See if Grayson Waller can back up all his self generated hype. Introducing the challenger from Delhi, India, weighing in at 187 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Sherry Man! And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, the NXT Champion, Grayson Waller! Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. Champion versus champion. This is as big as it gets. By beating Grayson Waller tonight, the man who is considered the dark horse of WWE can accomplish something that Roman Reigns never achieved. Grayson Waller doesn't care about any of that. 
Someone's coming to his house to try to take his title, and he's not going down without a huge fight. Ow. Right across the larynx. Getting him into the corner. Body shots over and over. One to the jaw and then... And that has to put some fear into the champ, seeing the kind of power their challenger possesses. Golly, an endless trampling there. A steady stream of moves taking out Waller. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. Targeting the throat there. And I think it's going to be Grayson doing some groaning after that attack. Oh, and a reversal. Opportunity now for Waller to capture some momentum. Brief sign of adrenaline from Grayson. Hits him with the counter. Here comes Michael. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. My God, what a striking display. Straight aggression rained down with unbelievable force, and this could be their path to the title. Waller wasting no motion on the counter. Up and down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. One. Basement drop kick. The champ's precision on full display. That can dislocate a kneecap. knee to the face. The champ not in a great place. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stomps. The stomp in every single part of his body. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Delivering nasty stomps. Unrelenting attack from the challenger there. You can see their desire for the goal. Nice takedown, and now just battering knees. Good night. Every strike more devastating than the last. Brutal knee to the side of the face. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. But Grayson can't let this flourish derail him. Uncorks another one. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Striking at will. Hard for the champ to have any answers when endless strikes are being rained down on you. Sleeper hold cinch. Good job getting the punch there. Yeah, that could have been bad. He has a right where he wants him. Run right through with the spear. We can have a new champion. champion has accomplished a feat that Roman Reigns never could by winning the NXT Hey, good match out there. Don't you good match me? You wouldn't even have gotten a title opportunity if I hadn't helped you beat Wesley. We made a deal to work together for that one match. Whatever happened after that was fair game. Well, speaking of fair, I've already gone to Shawn Michaels and petitioned for a rematch. And due to the millions of people who joined the Justice for Grayson movement over the past few weeks, he agreed to give me one next week on NXT. 
not quite sure I buy the reasoning behind all that, but either way, I'm happy to face you again. This time, we're gonna see if you can really hang with me, because it's gonna be an Iron Man match. Fine with me. More chances to beat you, mate. The following is an Iron Man match and is for the NXT Championship. Time to feel the Grayson Waller effect. I'd rather not. Well, Grayson Waller never met a superstar or rule that he got along with. Certainly has his own way of doing things, and it's risen his stock very quickly here in WWE. If Waller wins, we'll never hear the end of it. I bet he's smartly already drafted a victory speech. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the dark horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. The reins are off, and it is on. Introducing the challenger from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller. And his opponent from Delhi, India, weighing in at 187 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, the Dark Horse, Sherry Nash. Lots of competitors in the back dream for a shot at this title. Despite clouds of legal controversy hanging over it, here we go with this Iron Man rematch for the NXT Championship. If Grayson Waller can take care of business in the ring, then all the legal stuff goes away, and the WWE Universal Champion will head back to SmackDown to deal with the consequences. You have to wonder if it's a bit of a distraction for the defending champion. He can't afford to take his eye off the ball in a match like this. Oh! Right across the throat! Uh-oh. Full mount. Hammer fists. 
Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. Striking at will. Just going all out with every blow. Swing shot. Cross body. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh. Oh. Launching himself from the ropes. Stopping their opponent. And the forearm smash. The champion just unceremoniously disposing of their opposition. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Need in a midsection. Bang to the neck. Grayson now undertaking a barrage. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. What was coming there? And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Superman punch! Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Run right through with the spear. The champ has this one in hand now. Cover! Two! An early fall for the defending champion. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. A steady stream of moves taking out Waller. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. And it looks like Waller's bleeding after that. One after another. Counter by Grayson. And Waller puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Yeah, Waller's survival instincts are taking over. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Look at this. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Hooked. The first quarter of this match is now in the books. And we have a one-fall deficit. This is where you go beyond your standard prep. This is where Iron Man training starts to come into play. A suplex. Oh, slingshot. He's turning the tables. 
Uh, right to the midsection. Step over. DDT. Sleeper holds Sid. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. display of power lifted all the way up and driven down in the final prayer looks like the champ is going to retain Still have. 
has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Nine. And I just think the constant attacks to the core have caught up to him. The body has just been gradually falling apart to this point. Does he get it here? The champ scores the ball. to the face, capped off with a big one. And into the cover! Oh. The champ scores the fall. Oh man, right to the assault. And there's the cover! An early fall for the defending champion. Over and over, one to the jaw, and then and look at this. Will it be? The defending champion scores an early fall. Oh. Retaliation from Grayson. And Waller puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Yeah, Waller able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Grayson Waller. Oh, the Thunder Stunner. Gonna see a new champ. There's two. With that, he scores the ball. Grayson Waller off the snap there. Crap in the arms. Oh, what blows! Good grief, man. This is vicious. He gets out of the way. Basement drop kick. Trying to get the Grayson Waller effect to spread through the crowd. And Grayson gets that turn back on him. like this. Time's not a friend now. He's returning fire. Sequence of reversals there. Face Buster! Right to the knee. Whip back into the ring. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Kick to the gut. Hoisting their opponent up. And shutting them down for the final prayer. I think the champ's got it. Two. There it is. The challenger scores a fall. Ooh. And we're down to the final moments here. Buries a knee to the body. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Play of the match, and the challenger gets a fall. Oh. Firm control. Oh, what a boot to the face. And the champ stands, stands tall and stand. once again. The NXT champion, the Dark Horse. Jerry Man! Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounds like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title.
You want to explain what I just read on social media? There's nothing to explain. It's all cut and dry if you had read any of the legal documents we served you the past few weeks. I'm gonna get this overturned. Too late for that. Besides, there's no need to be upset. You did such a great job here as a representative of Miz and SmackDown. In case you forgot, I came here to get away from you and Miz. I wasn't representing anyone but myself. Maybe that was your intention, but in the end, your little act of rebellion actually worked in our favor. Our viewer retention and social media engagement has been off the charts. So nice work. See you back at SmackDown, champ. So is it true? Was it your plan all along to come down here and damage the NXT brand? You really were better off when you weren't paying attention to all the nonsense on social media. Especially when it's coming from the likes of The Miz. Well, true or not, it is what ended up happening. You showed up, made some of our top superstars look bad, and then got management tied up in a legal mess. So, thanks? I don't know what to tell you. That was never my intention. Miz is hell-bent on ruining my career. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't think this one is on Miz. Next time your obsession with Roman Reigns tells you to come to NXT, don't. <laughs>